Listen, man, a lot of people are going ham and ape shit right now in the Raider Nation and shit because, uh, you know, the way we played in game two of the preseason against Green Bay, and it was pretty bad. But you don't have to be an expert in football analysis. You don't have to have to uh, have a football career for eight years at some college somewhere to realize what's going wrong with the fucking Raiders. Right now, we're just playing soft. Straight out, bro. We're just playing soft. We're getting socked in the fucking mouth, especially on defense, bro. And the thing that I see the most on defense is that we're getting zero push. Zero fucking push against the run. And, and the problem with that is once somebody hits the fucking hole, like the running back for the other team, once he's hitting the hole and he's going full speed, it's going to be very hard for any linebacker to take the right angle. And Ben Heaney's being washed out on every fucking running play. I mean, it's not even funny, bro. He is just getting hit to the side. And Eddie Lacy and David Johnson are just running right between the tackles. And we're about to face a fucking other team that has downhill runners. You know, we're facing the Titans. They have uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that Murray guy. And they have fucking Derrick Henry. Both of those guys are between tackle downhill runners. And, and here's the problem with the defense, okay? The secondary, I don't have any problem with. You know, Sean Smith is, is fucking earning his money already, bro. I mean, he's all over people. And David Amerson got burned a couple times. But, you know, all in all, I like the secondary. We're much improved in the back end. But the front seven is where the problem is. And, and the main problem that I see is that when it's a running play, we're not getting off of our fucking blocks to save our life. You know what I'm saying? We're standing straight up with the guy in front of us, right? We're doing the zombie dance with our fucking, my, our arms extended and shit. We're just looking straight at the fucking guy and we're not getting off the block. We're not locating the ball. See, there's four parts to be in a defensive tackle or a defensive fucking uh, run stopper. First, you get push. Then you locate the, paw, the ball. Then you get off your block. Then you make a play. You go hit somebody. And the problem is, if you don't get a shoulder pad or an arm, if you don't trip the running back up at the line of scrimmage, then that means he's running at full speed when he hits the hole. And all the all he really needs is a lead blocker like a fullback from the Green Bay Packers, right? That small ass dude was going in that fucking hole and just knocking Ben Heaney to the side. And Eddie Lacy was running full speed. Starks was running full speed. 20 yards past us by the time we can catch up to him. And we're asking David Amerson. We're asking Reggie Nelson. We're asking Carl Josephs to make over... Uh, open field tackles on guys that are 100 pounds heavier than that. You know what I'm saying? And we can't do that shit. That's not what good defenses do. Good defense fill. Good defenses fill the gaps. And it starts with the D line. You know what I'm saying? Our lining backs, our linebackers are a problem too, because we're taking the wrong fucking angles. What you're supposed to do as a as a linebacker is move laterally down the line of scrimmage, right? Parallel to the line of scrimmage. Locate the ball. Get your head down and make a play. You're not supposed to sprint into the gap and guess, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing right now. We're guessing on what gap that they're running in, and we're getting it wrong most of the time. So that makes the, the lead blocker's block that much more effective. I mean, you don't, you don't even have to really know what you're looking at. All you have to do is watch the game. If you have eyeballs, you can see what's going on with our team right now. Now we're just fucking playing soft. It's an attitude thing, you know what I'm saying? And on offense, fuck, bro. We're, we're running the most basic shit you could possibly run. And I know it's the fucking preseason, bro. But defenses are sitting on what we're doing. They know that Derek Carr is going to throw towards the sideline. We have guys open over the middle like you won't believe, man. In the Arizona game and in the Green Bay game, we have guys open over the middle. Seth Roberts on those crossing, uh, crossing routes. We have fucking tight ends that are open running up the seam. And we're just not seeing them. And Derek Carr is, is running, running <clears throat> a play and throwing at his first option every single time. Staring down receivers. Throwing into double coverage. For what, bro? If you're going to be out there for the entire fucking half in the preseason, you better be working on something a little bit more intricate than your first option. And then he throws that deep pass down there to Amari Cooper. I mean, Amari Cooper had his man beat. He was open towards the inside of the field, and he throws it over his fucking head. <clears throat> And then Amari Cooper, all lackluster and shit, just touches the guy. Hopefully they, he, he gets the call. I wish we didn't get that call, man, because Amari Cooper needs to learn that you need to make sure contact with that guy when an interception happens. You know what I'm saying? So we're just playing mentally soft, bro. We don't have anything. We don't, we don't have any fucking uh, you know, sense of urgency to win the game. And I know it's the preseason. These games don't matter. The wins, losses, that shit doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. But at the same time, if you're going to be out there wearing the silver and black and playing football, you need to be trying to win. You know what I'm saying? You need to be playing with some fucking professionalism. And we're not doing it right now. You know, And then the defensive line is really what, what worries me the most. Because if we don't slow down the runners, 
Our linebackers are undersized, especially Ben Heaney, and he's going to have a hard time tackling people that are running full speed. We need to slow that guy down at the point of attack. Get off of your fucking block, bro. This is basic fucking defensive line play 101. This is like the first thing you fucking learn. You know what I'm saying? And I blame training camp, bro, because they're doing exactly what they do in training camp. What they're doing is they're hitting the pads. You know those fucking pads you always see in the videos and they're just hitting it and standing the pads up? That's all they're doing to the guy in front of them. They're staring straight at the guy in front of them and they're not locating the ball. And the ball carrier is running right by us, bro. Six inches away from our shoulder pads, the guy with the ball is fucking running. Full speed. By the time he hits that fucking hole, gets to the second level, it's done. It's done, bro. You need to slow that fucking guy down. Because when we do stop the run, that's exactly what happens. We get off our fucking block. We at least contact the ball runner. You know what I'm saying? And then the linebacker has a chance to make the play. See, there's this thing in football called gang tackling. And what that refers to is the defensive lineman gets some push. He fucking slows down the runner. The linebacker then has time to beat his block and get to the ball carrier and hit him. And then if the guy is still up, the defensive back or the safety has a chance to come up and make the final hit. That's what gang tackling is. And we're not doing any of that shit. My main concern is the fucking defense, bro. Because we're supposed to be much more improved in the defense. And I know on offense right now, we're not showing everything that we have to show. And we're running real basic shit and our quarterbacks are kind of going through the motions. So I hope right now that Jack Del Rio is lighting a fire under these guys' ass. I hope Ken Norton is really putting a foot in somebody's ass, bro. Because what I saw in that preseason game was bullshit. That Arizona game, we got turnovers. That's why we won. That's not going to happen every fucking game. You know, we're losing the battle of first downs. We're losing the battle of time of possession. We're losing the battle of third down conversions and third down stoppages on defense. We're not getting any of that shit done. And that's how you win football games on a consistent basis, you know. And we, we played two really well-coached teams in the fucking preseason, the Green Bay Packers and the Arizona Cardinals. And, and this is what shows you what having a, a long-tenured coach will do. The message is getting down even to the second and, and third string guys on how to play in that system. Because the second string Green Bay Packer team was stopping our first team offense. That shit is true. Because we're running real basic shit and we're going through the motions. Our offensive line I like. I mean, I'm not going to lie. You know, in pass blocking, we're the shit. I don't think Derek Carr is going to get sacked very, very often. It's just not going to happen. Our, our, our offensive line is the shit in pass blocking. But everything else, bro, needs work. And it needs work right now. Because the regular season starts in three weekends. The lights go on and the shit counts. So get your shit together, Raiders, man. I don't like what I saw. I know it's only the preseason. I'm not going to get too worked up over it. But we're playing soft as fuck, and I don't like it. So remember this, man. All the coaching staff, all the players on the Raiders right now, if you see this video, this is Maddie on a mission. And remember one thing. Stop playing soft. And when I speak, you listen.